Well, it's really interesting, right? Because we have always heard that maybe uh, e-cigarettes are safer than regular cigarettes, and that may still be true. But this new research from the University of New York, uh, rather check that New York University, says exposure to nicotine from e-cigarette vapor does in fact cause lung cancer in mice. So the study funded by the National Institutes of Health comes as the government has declared a teen vaping epidemic. It's the first study making a definitive link between vaping and cancer. The amount of sm smoke that the mice were exposed to is similar to that of a person who's vaped for about three to six years. The study found that e-cigarette vapor damaged the DNA in addition to lung cancer can also cause precancerous growth in the bladder. It concluded with the assertion that vaping is likely very harmful to humans. Now, these findings also back up a separate vaping study by the University of California, which found that cancer-related molecule changes are happening in the oral tissue of e-cigarette smokers. So, something interesting to note here, researchers say that none of the 20 mice exposed to the e-cigarette smoke without nicotine developed cancer over four years. Um, so researchers say the next step is to increase the size of the test group, add more mice and the exposure times. That'll give us a better idea of e-cigarette effects mm. on the genetic level, which is what it's doing. It's damaging the DNA. Well, vaping is such a new thing still. It obviously is still being studied in terms of the effects that it can have on people. Right. And this is what we're now finding. Absolutely. And think about the dangers because of the fact that the majority of people are young, teens. Right. right. And what we don't know mm -hmm. yet, too. Thanks, Amity.